Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I thought I'd uh, show you five uses for alignment sticks. There's something that's uh, quite prevalent out in there. You'll even see them in tour players' bags in the middle of a game of golf. They're not counted as golf clubs, so it's okay to have them in the bag. You'll see them poking out. So they use them a lot. I think there's a lot of merit in using it. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to use them. All right, we've got some uh, alignment sticks already set up here today, and I'm going to show you five ways we can use it. So the first way we can do, uh, we can use our alignment sticks, is firstly the traditional way. We set up what I'm going to call the train line. I have this yellow alignment stick pointing at my target. This orange alignment stick is pointing parallel to my target, but slightly left. My feet go along the orange alignment stick and when I swing the club, I want to try and swing along the alignment stick. So this helps me when I practice to try and make sure that my alignment is correct. And it also helps when I hit the ball to give me an impression of where straight is. Our brains always try and work out where straight is. It's not always right. We have to recalibrate our brains occasionally. That is straight. So that's the first use. Second use is I have a, an alignment stick here. I've just got it in my little, uh, little tower that I've built here. Normally, if you're on grass, you would just put the stick in the ground. And I've really just aligned that stick level with my backside so that when I hit the shot, if I do a bad swing and I swing to the left, I'm actually going to hit the alignment stick. So that's not really the sort of swing we need. If I do the right swing, I'm going to come down and my club is going to go nowhere near that alignment stick. So that's a handy little device to use when you practice. It won't do any damage, it'll just come out of the ground. Don't put it in too, uh, too tightly. If you hit it, it'll just fall over and nothing will be broken. So that's the second use. The third use, I've got an alignment stick already set up just out here, just slightly to the left of my target line. What I do here is I'm trying to encourage starting the ball to the right of the flag. So I naturally draw the ball. So this is something that will help me improve my swing path and give my brain a visual of where I want to start the ball. So I just have that there and when I hit the shot I want to try and make sure that my ball starts to the right of that alignment stick. And I find that really useful. The other way we can use the alignment stick is a lot of people have difficulty in their takeaway. So if I set this alignment stick up so it points slightly that way, as I swing the club back, I want my club face or the leading edge of the club to be roughly in line with that stick. I had a client yesterday where he was taking the club back inside the line and the club was very close. So I actually got him to swing the club back trying to keep that club pointing parallel to that alignment stick. So that's a good one on the takeaway. We can also reverse that and we can have it going the other way so that a lot of people when they swing the club through, particularly if they slice the ball, they tend to get their club face open through the shot. So if I come through and my club face is, is open, that's nowhere near parallel to that stick that's on the ground. So I want to try and come down, hit the ball and try and get my club face parallel there. So it's the same thing, we're just working on different sides of the swing, backswing and downswing. So they're great uses of, the, of alignment sticks. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald the Golf Doctor. If you like my videos, you can subscribe by clicking the button. You can share the video with a friend by clicking on the button at the bottom of the uh, YouTube video. You can also go onto my website, thegolfdoctor.com.au, and you can subscribe to my newsletter list so you can be informed when each tip gets loaded up each week.